Hey guys, what's up? I hope you all are doing great. Uh, I'm back. This time is not a repair video to make. I'm going to make a short video to make a cable, universal cable. the power supply as you guys can see I have a small power supply right this one look at my finger it's right about here um, now on this power supply, the problem I have, I can't use it for um, different type of laptops. Check, um, especially the dead laptops. Uh, I can't plug a dead laptop to my power supply because I don't have a universal cable. All the cable that I have is simple normal power supply cable with two leads and two clip points, right? So what I want to do, I've been trying to buy but they're not so cheap, not so expensive and especially you don't get it, get them in South Africa. So I've been thinking to make this power cable. That's why I bought this. This cost me about 200 bucks to 280 bucks. What I want to do, I want to remove this cable, this part from this <laughs> working universal charger. Um, the problem is with the universal charger, there is no display to tell you guys or tell us if the device is taking any current or what voltage is it taking it doesn't show us any so if i have a cable that has different type of ports for different laptop it will make my work very easy to see uh, what is going on on the specific laptop okay so what I'm going to do in the first stage, try to remove these things. I'm going to pause the video because otherwise the video gets very long. I'm sure most of you guys know how to open a laptop charger or a universal charger, okay? Alright guys, um, the cable is out. As you can see, this is actually a nice cable. I mean wiring wise this cable has three wires this black one is minus or ground this is positive and this one i believe it's a data cable um, some of the new laptops are coming now these days with charger that has a charging id pin so those laptops will not work on this cable because I don't know how to make this um, data cable work with my power supply because my power supply only has plus and minus, no data cable option. So in future, I'm not going to cut the whole things out, I will only cut it. Yeah, I will see if I can find a solution where I can make this charging cable or yeah, charging power cable, a cable that can identify for those new laptops. Okay. Let's solder these ports.
Okay, guys. It's not ready. I believe. So. It's our black probe, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, it was a black probe. Hold on. Okay. Uh, this is how my cable works at the moment. It's coming from the power supply. Okay. If I do have the plus as this one, I just need to use like yeah they can test it with one of the I don't think all this um, ports has the charging sense I think one or two Ports has the charging IDP. Probably the Lenovo one. So let's test it, guys. In the multiple power on. You can see. This cable, I can use my probe. It's we have two amp, four volt, four point seven. Let's have a look. Four point nine volts power supply is showing five point seven volts. Okay. I put it on nineteen volts. Volt. It's pretty accurate. Say about one to two percent tolerance is there. Twenty volts. Yes, about. 1 to 2 percent tolerance is there. Okay, my cable is functional, guys. I can take a laptop and have a look. Laptop is working. Okay. I have a HP laptop. I think
be this one. Okay, I don't think I have a port for this laptop. For device at the moment, I don't have something to check. I do have a repair one that I can try to do. Nineteen point eighteen volt. Going to check this laptop. Look at the orange light. This laptop is charging and look at my power supply it's taking 480 milliamp so my cable is working look at uh, at there on the power supply 480 milliamp this laptop does has a problem so it's not gonna charge like how a laptop should charge okay I'm just showing that now I can see what this laptop is doing with the charger okay uh, this laptop is ready I'm happy that I made this cable I've been I wanted to make this cable for a very long time always been lazy um, I could also go in a cheaper or a more better option which is ordering it from aliexpress it's not that expensive with delivery and uh, custom charges i think it there is a set of 50 or 64 charging port with its own cable power supply cable which you can uh, connect it to any power supply um, but at the moment, I don't have the luxury to spend money on tools and stuff. I have other priorities where I need to spend money or I want to spend money. Um, but for now, this will help me big time with a lot of laptops, models actually. really happy really excited if there's a new job or new laptop comes that I did this this will help me big time anyway guys I hope you guys learn something out of this video uh, as usual like and subscribe my channel share my channel's info to your friends and family it will really help my channel to grow and I'll see you guys on the next video, okay?